everyone in this video we will install and configure dhcp server in windows server 2022 and in one of our videos we have installed windows server 2022 and the link will be in the description section and in addition to that we also installed uh, active directory domain services and we promoted the role of the server server to work as a domain controller in our previous video so that will also be there and then we also join a client machine to this domain that video is also there and this video is about DHCP server installation and configurations. So dynamic host configuration protocol that is DHCP and the use of that is to give IP addresses dynamically to the clients to the clients who wants to join the network. Now to install that first we need to launch the server manager and to launch server manager you can just click on the start on the bottom left side and you can see server managers there and for me this is already there so now once I, I have launched this server manager I need to add a role so DHCP server is a role and we are going to configure this role on this Windows Server 2022 it means server can act in different roles one of the roles which we install is Active Directory Domain Services second is DNS in the same way today we are going to add an additional role and after this server will also act as a DHCP server and, and will be assigning IP addresses to the clients on the network. So we click simply on add roles and features and then we click on next. So you can go through this one, this all you can read. Next and then we are not using remote desktop services we will select role based or feature based installations where we selected role already we have selected role so we click next and here you can see the name of the server where we want to install the SCPR. so this is the name and at the moment we have only one server machine on our domain so if we have multiple servers then maybe you can find multiple names here but in my case this is only one so we select that and we click next and here these are the roles you can see here so now we have to install a DHCP server here. So we are going to install this server role. And these are the additional features which are required for DHCP. And yes, we need to install, we need to add these features. So yes, we click add features and then we click next. And here you can see all the description about that. And this is about features and we just click next. And then say is that things to note that you should configure at least one static IP address on this computer and before you install the ACP server you should plan your subnets scope and exclusion store and plan uh, in a safe place for later references so this means say that if you are going to configure DHCP server then you should have some planning in mind before that like DHCP server will be assigning IP addresses to the clients yes we agree that but who from where this DHCP server itself will be getting IP addresses. So we have to actually define a pool of IP addresses on this DHCP server. So let's say DHCP server, we are giving you these, um, this range of IP addresses, maybe 10 or 50, and then you have to distribute these IP addresses among the clients who will be requesting foreign IP addresses from you. So that is what is there. And this is the destination server where we are installing here so you can see that and after that let's say we click the we click next and here it says that do you want to restart the destination server automatically if required we say yes we want to uh, maybe restart it and then we say yes and then we finally we say install this role on this machine and maybe this may take some time so i'll pause this recording for a while and once this is complete i'll be back and meanwhile you can also close this window as well but you can see this is star installation uh, started and yes it may take some time i'll be back once this is complete okay so we are back installation is complete and you can see it shows that configuration required installation succeeded succeeded on this uh, on this domain controller so here it says that it says that this is completed and now we need to complete the uh, DHCP configuration. So next step would be to configure DHCP. For that maybe we can close this window. We can click there and close this window or maybe you can also click there and this will also show you the complete the DHCP configurations. So we click on that complete configurations 
and he says that create the following security groups for delegation of DHCP server administration. So DHCP administrator and DHCP users and then authorize DHCP server on target computer if domain join. So we have already joined the domain and now we click there. So the following steps will be performed. So, okay, we agree with that. And then says that specify the credentials to be used to authorize this DHCP server in Active Directory domain services. So in Active Directory domain services, it says that who will be authorizing it. And for that, we have this account. So use the following user's credentials to authorize DHCP server on Active Directory domain service. And in this Active Directory domain service, we have an account with this, this administrator as a username. So we say yes, use that. And then we click on commit. And when we click on commit, you can see this says creating security groups, done. Authorizing DHCP server, done. And say so please restart the service, uh, server service on the target computer for the security group to be effective. So say close it. And now this has been done. We have made the additional configurations there. And now we have to define a pool of IP addresses. We have to define the scope there. So for that, we can go to tools here. And when we click here on the tools, we should see DHCP. So we click on DHCP. And now on the right hand side, you can see this shows DHCP. And this is the domain. And then if we expand it from, uh, from the left hand side, you can see we have an option for IPv4 and IPv6. Here we select IPv4. And maybe if I maximize, I try to just so that it should be visible to us what we are doing here. So it says that on the left hand side, we have IPv4 server options, policies and filters. We'll discuss what they are. But at the moment, we want to define a pool. So we want to define a pool of IP addresses. We just click on IPv4 and sorry, we click right click on IPv4 and then we click new scope. And the new scope, we are going to define a scope where we will have the pool of IP addresses. And uh, you can also give it a name. So you have to provide an identifying scope name because in some of the cases, we can have multiple scopes as well, which we'll not, we are not discussing now. So let's say pool is, let's say, maybe scope is, let's say, G and D scope. So we're going to give it a name. So it can have any name. Just a second, a scope. And also you can give it any description. And at the moment, I'm not giving any description, let's say next. And now this is important that configure setting for DHCP server. So we want, we are defining a pool of IP addresses. Let's say our pool of IP address will start from 192.168.10.1 and then it will end at 192.168.10.100. So this is the pool of IP addresses this DHCP will have. And then this is the uh, configure setting that propagate to DHCP client. So length subnet mask, this will be propagated to the client nodes in addition to the IP. And then we click next. Here it says that add exclusion and, and, and delay. Exclusions are address, a range of addresses that are not distributed by the server. So here, yes, we have defined a pool from uh, dot one to dot hundred. There are one hundred IP address, but we want to reserve, uh, not reserve, but we want to exclude some of the IP addresses, uh, so that DHCP should not be assigning these, giving these IP addresses to the clients when they request. So let's say we are want to exclude this one ninety two one sixty eight dot ten dot one to let's say one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot let's say let's say five. So I want to exclude these five IP addresses because maybe I might be using these IP addresses for some other purpose. Maybe uh, I have given some static IP addresses to maybe router default gateway, uh, maybe to server itself. So I want to exclude this. Okay, we added this. Now these IP addresses will be excluded from the, from the IP addresses pool which we have configured on DHCP. And this is a DHCP delay in milliseconds. We are not configuring it. So when we click next, and here it says that set the duration for scope lease when distributed by the server. So it means when server is going to give IP addresses to the clients, then server also can specify that how long those clients can actually use that IP addresses. So 
so that is the time which we can configure it here so time can be days hours minutes we leave it as it is but you can see that we can change it as well and then we click next it says that you have to configure the most common DSCP options before clients can use the scope so do you want to configure GS, the DSCP option for this scope now so maybe we can configure these options now or we can maybe configure it later as well but let's say I want to show you that what options we can have so it says that router default gateway so options are something which a server will be distributing to uh, the clients in addition to IP addresses let's say if I want uh, this uh, DSCP server to distribute the default gateway information as well to the clients so in addition to IP address this will also be giving the information about default gateway let's say 192.168.10.2 this is the default gateway I want DSCP to distribute to the clients when they request for IP add and then we click next and then domain name and DNS servers do you want to uh, like uh, do you want the SCP server to distribute this information to their clients maybe say yes next that information do you want to configure any DNS server uh, sorry win server so at the moment we don't use it so let's say we we are not going to configure anything and then do you want to activate the scope now so we can also activate this later but why to do it later we are saying that yes I want to activate this scope now and we click next and once we are done with that we simply click finish and now we have this scope ready here you can see this one and if we click there you can see here uh, when we expand it we can see further options here that is the first one is the address pool and in the address pool you can see the address goes from 192.168.10.1 uh, all the way to 100 but we have excluded so you can see it also shows here that these are the addresses which have been excluded and this one one two five and then address lease and if 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 any of the clients has been given ip addresses then this will be shown here but at the moment no client has sent any request so we don't see any client here and then this reservations reservations like we can reserve some of the ip addresses for some specific purpose like for some specific client maybe based on MAC address let's say some computer having this particular MAC address if that computer joins a network then you can you need to assign that one specific IP address to it so we can reserve it as well then we also have scope options so at the moment we have selected these options which will be distributed or these configurations which will be distributed to the clients but in addition to that if you want some more options there then we can also configure more options that if you want that our uh, when DSCP server should be distributing these all information or these all options then we can also set it that but we are not changing it we just keep by default whatever we have selected this one so they will be the information about these option will be distributed by DSCP server and then we have the policies policies actually are there to define certain conditions for the clients and uh, the clients needs to needs to fulfill that requirement or they must need they must meet those conditions for an IP addresses so that's also we can define and these policies can be based on like a vendor or software vendor they say that this will, will guide you uh, come up a new with come uh, setting up a new policy provide a name and a description so in this way but at the moment we are not defining any policy maybe in some other videos and then these are server more options policies and yes this is uh, some filters so we can also define certain filters and if we look at here so in filters we can allow some of the computers having some let's say specific uh, mac address and only those computer having those mac addresses will be allowed and rest of the uh, of the nodes joining uh, rest of the computers joining the network they will be denied for the services and deny means only these if we specify they will be denied from the service but rest of them will be getting this DHCP services so we are not exploring these all things but at least you know that what is the meaning or what is the purpose of all these options here and now we have actually configured this DHCP server on this Windows Server 2022 and the next step would be to verify that how we can how a client can send a request to this 
uh, server machine and how the client can get the IP address from this, this uh, DSCP server. At the moment, just let's say Windows Server and I have this Windows 10. First, I need to log in into my Windows 10 here. And once I'm there, I'll show you that how we can ask this machine to get an IP address form from DSCP. So for that, we go here on the bottom right, click right click there and it is preparing it. So right click there, click open network. Uh, and then here you select Ethernet, click change adopter options and then click maybe add uh, this ethernet click properties and then here click ipv4 and when you click uh, properties you can see at the moment this is using some static ip address but if i click here on obtain an ip address here so now in this case it will send a request to dscp server and uh, this also dns information we say obtain this dns server address automatically automatically means they'll be sending requests to the DSCP server using Dora so discover and request and I think offer request and and and, and the acknowledge so Dora I will we have discussed in this thing in some other video but anyway we have selected this obtain an IP address automatically we click OK close it and after that you can see it's showing identifying this but meanwhile we can just maybe minimize it and we can go to our command prompt here. Let's say CMD, press enter. And then if you press, uh, sorry, we use IP config command. And you can see it shows us that IP address assigned to this computer is 192.168.10.6. So we defined a pool that, that was from uh, dot one, I mean 192.168.10.1 to 192.168.10.100, but we excluded some of the IP addresses which have already been excluded. You can see from one to five, they, uh, they are not used and the DSCP server has assigned very first available IP address from that pool. That is 192.168.10.6. Okay, so that's it I think for today. And uh, what we have done is that we have installed and configured DHCP server on Windows Server 2022. And then we use this uh, Windows 10 as a client to request an IP address from this Windows Server 2022 and Windows Server 2022 has actually given IP address to this client and one more thing maybe we can see here we click on DSCP and if we click here click IPv4 and then if we go here we just and this uh, this is scope and then if we see address lease, we can see this address, this particular address has been assigned to some client machine. So now you can see the address lease as well. Okay, so that's it. And thank you. Thank you very much for your time and hope to see you in some other video in future. Thanks.